Hello everyone, my name is Pierre Daisenga. I'm a youth fellow from Burundi but now living in Rwanda. So uh, I'm taking this time to share with you how uh, we are coping with COVID-19, uh, this pandemic that started in China in the end of 2019. So uh, here in Rwanda, uh, the situation has been uh, very dangerous since uh, uh, March, uh, when uh, the first uh, cases were tested positive in this country. So uh, from that time we started uh, a complete lockdown and it was not allowed for someone to move unless you are going to look for uh, some basic services like you are sick or you go for bank services. So. Uh, I also want to thank the government of Rwanda for different measures that it has taken to stop the propagation of this pandemic because uh, if you can try to see uh, different health professionals, uh, police officers, they have been working hard to see that they can stop or reduce the propagation of this pandemic and this was really good. but. Uh, this uh, affected our lives because uh, we were obliged to stay at home, we do not move. Uh, some people uh, uh, will stay at home, we do not move. Uh, some people uh, uh, were obliged to, to leave their work. Others even, uh, they have lost their work. And this was really not uh, easy and uh, people were not doing well during this pandemic but it was uh, something good to do because we had to work hard to see how we can stop the propagation of the pandemic. So far, they have allowed us to move, but you move while also using, uh, applying different measures can, that can help us to, to stop the pandemic. Like for now, when you move, you are obliged to use the, the face mask. So you use the face mask and then you, you go so that you, you cannot uh, get contaminated or if you have the virus, you do not uh, contaminate someone. So we are also uh, obliged to wash our hands and we can use hand sanitizers as you see I have it here. And if you do not have this, you also go and wash your hands using a soap with clean water. So uh, these are different measures which were taken to see that we can limit or even end the virus. And for now, of course, we were affected like someone who was uh, who is uh, uh, passionate in education and who is working in this sector. And for now, of course, we were affected like someone who was uh, who is uh, uh, passionate in education and who is working in this sector. Uh, we were affected so much because now in the primary and secondary school, uh, schools were closed and they will start again in September. So for me, while I'm working, uh, we got a chance of continuing to work, but we are working online, which is not really easy for everyone, some students. Uh, are struggling with the devices that they are using to keep on taking courses but we are trying and this is the reason why I want to, to thank Leo Africa for the great work that um, the Institute is doing of helping young people to, to get to know many things and I remember about um, a discussion that we had around how we can use technology as a solution for uh, different problems that we can we might face like this one and I think that in the program that this Institute is preparing they might face uh, they might focus on technology and see how they can help us to increase our digital literacy skills so that we will be able to respond to some cases like this one so it is not easy but we are working hard to cope and I really thank everyone who is doing well to help us to win this war that we are in. So, thank you very much.